So are you ready for this? Americans are announcing their citizenship in record numbers as the U.S. cracks down on global tax evaders. Those tough new laws are aimed at recovering the almost $100 billion the U.S. government says it loses in unpaid taxes every year. But is it just forcing Americans out of the country? Peter Schiff is CEO and chief global strategist for Euro Pacific Capital, and he joins us now. Which is it? I, I mean, it seems like this might not be the best thing for the government to be doing, or is it? Well, I think it's a terrible thing that they're doing, and it's a disturbing trend that's going to continue. You know, the government is making it very difficult for Americans who happen to be living and working abroad uh, to function. Uh, a lot of people are having to give up their U.S. citizenships, even though they'd prefer to retain them. But it's not just expatriates. You know, even if you're living in America and you want to bank abroad, you know, I own an offshore bank. I won't accept American customers at my bank because I don't want to be subjected uh, to the enormous expense that I would incur if I tried to accommodate uh, U.S. customers. The, the, the fact that people are giving up their citizenship, I think the number is approaching almost 2,000. Is anyone taking note, other than the network and a few of the news organizations, is anyone in the government saying we need to rethink this? Oh, I doubt it. I mean, I think the government is deliberately trying to prevent Americans from leaving the country. I think they're going to make it much more difficult in the future than it is today, both to get out of the country or to get your money out of the country. You know, there's a form that you have to fill out in order to renounce your citizenship. And up until a few years ago, the form was free. Now it costs $500 just to get the form to give up your citizenship. I mean, who knows what that form may cost in the future? Maybe it'll cost $5,000, maybe $10,000. They already have big exit penalties. If you're wealthy, if you have a lot of assets and you want the privilege of no longer being an American citizen, you're going to have to pay a lot of money for that. But it really tells you something that now an American citizenship, instead of you know, a badge of honor, is like an albatross around your neck. And people are willing to pay huge sums of money not to have to be an American citizen. That is a very troubling development. You know, when, 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 when countries are trying to uh, uh, build a wall to keep their people in, uh, there's, there's reasons for that. And but, instead of examining why people want to escape and changing those policies, uh, they're just trying to Peter, prevent people from leaving. The, the, the yeah. profile of the average person who has renounced their citizenship in this predicament, what do they look like? I mean, are they like you and me? Or are they very, well, are they like you? Are they extremely wealthy? Or are they more like me, more middle class, by New York standards, but middle class? Well, I think a lot of the people who are expatriates who are giving up their citizenships are middle class, and they just can't even afford uh, the complexity of filing a return while living offshore. They're having trouble with bank accounts, with insurance policies, getting home mortgages. So it's just their lives are d difficult. But I think over time, more and more entrepreneurs, young people who want to make something of themselves and who find a, a lot more difficult to do it here because of their taxes and the regulations, they're going to want to leave. And I think a lot of Americans are going to want to get their money out of the U.S. because of the inflation that I see coming and the weakness in the dollar. And the U.S. government is going to try to find ways to mitigate that by making it more difficult for Americans uh, to, to get out of the country, either physically or get their money out. All right, Peter Schiff, we appreciate you joining us to discuss this issue. It's not going away anytime soon. Thank you.